They're going to look to their defense, and they're going to take McCoy from Oklahoma. The three technique in this defense, at least I've been told this, is the engine that makes it go. Warren Sapp. Then we tried to bring in Anthony McFarland to replace him. That didn't work. They have got to find a guy that can come in here, create some one-on-ones, disrupt running plays, pass rush, and be an impact football player. And, and, and I think he is that kind of guy. His motor is on high all the time. But it, it's going to be interesting to watch him incorporated into this defense. Three technique with the worst rush defense in football. So the, the one thing I would say, even with Warren Sapp, as great as he was, those times that he's moving around blocks and people are running the ball at you, boy, it, it, it causes a bit of a problem for you defensively. Look, defensive. But this kid, I mean, I'm high on this kid. He is a great kid, great player. But, boy, how he's going to fit exactly with this defense is going to be... professional football, defensive tackles, the one spot where desire is actually might outweigh talent. Because you see a lot of very talented defensive tackles flame out because they want to spin around and jump around and do a lot of things instead of just the desire to play at one of the toughest spots on the field. Emotional Gerald McCoy from Oklahoma. Will this be the time that he hears his name? Yep. With the third pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Gerald McCoy, defensive tackle, Oklahoma. Steve, I want to ask you this real quickly because he was a longtime teammate. I like it. I'm talking to some of the people that, that did their work on this and people around the league. They liken him to a fellow I know you admire, Frank Young. Well, if that's the case, what do they get? Bryant Young was stiff at the running point of attack. I mean, this kid was one of the toughest players of all time. If you're telling me he's like Bryant Young, I love this kid, okay? Because Bryant Young is one of the best football players I've ever been around. Susie Colbert is with us down in the green room and with all the players and an emotional young Mr. McCoy. And Susie, you have the story. Oh, Chris, so much emotion, and you, you saw him just hugging his daughter, and the emotion really stems from the fact that his mother, Patricia, is such a major influence in his life, and she passed away when he was just 19, and she never got to see him play at Oklahoma, and he said that he would dedicate tonight to her. He has her initials embroidered in his suit, and he also will hold up his jersey in her honor. <laughs> Oh, it's as good as it gets right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Between emotion and his sack, he just sacked the commissioner. That's a good first half. That's, that, 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 that's a good, that's a good scene to see him hug the commissioner like that. Uh, whoever's the commissioner of the Big 12 has got to be kind of excited over the first 15 minutes oh, of this draft. My goodness. <laughs> Two from Oklahoma and one from Nebraska. I would say more so. to come. More to come. <laughs> and so maybe the key for the Bucs is A to draft McCoy. You know, coach, last year they were 1 0 in the creamsicles. You know, they ought to think about it. No, no, no. That's just a thought. No, there's Steve, no. The bowl, hey, the Chargers old uniforms were worth going back for, <laughs> not the Bucs. Six foot four, 300 pounds. You talk about a kid, a one gap penetrator here. You watch him number 93, jumps on that edge. And I think the thing with him is, is he's going to be strong enough at the pro level to press the power block. I think you look at the quickness off the ball of Gerald McCoy. Remember, Oklahoma was kind of off the radar, losing players to injury, not winning as many games as they had hoped. Yet this kid played all out. We talked about that with Sue. Great determination, great hustle. McCoy gives you everything he has. He fits what Tampa Bay does, John. I think that's the most important thing. A guy whose skill set fits what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to ask him to do. No question, he's a great prospect. Remember, that's where Leroy Selman came from, right there at Oklahoma. But every year we sit up here and we talk about these defensive tackles. And lately, a lot of guys haven't really exploded right. onto the scene. These right. two guys got to get it done. We need right. Sue and McCoy to get going. And those two gentlemen, and Bradford, you mentioned the Big 12. It's the first time since the Comet draft began in 67 that the top three picks have all come from the same conference. Wow.